Hey, Jason Ramson, Chief Technology Officer at Ravenscroft School here. And today I am fortunate enough to have in my possession a Lenovo X131e Chromebook. Uh, it is a pre production model, so you don't see any Google markings here at the moment. But i um, been using this for about a week now uh, in demo mode, carting it around, and I'm uh, very pleased with its durability. Um, slightly heavier than the Samsung Series 5 that I have, only about 7 ounces. Um, so it is it is easy to carry around. I'll uh, give you a quick tour. First of all, I want to talk about the durability. It is built on the same X131e model uh, that is already out in a Windows format. Uh, but you'll see that can kind of bang away on it. Very durable. I like that, especially for schools that are considering a one-to-one -one take home model uh, for their students. And uh, we'll go ahead and give you a tour. Down the left hand side here, you will see a VGA port. Nice that it has no dongle, uh, which you'll find on the Samsung Series 5 that I have. Two USB ports here, uh, so two USB ports, RJ45 and then a uh, combo headset and a mic port like that as well. Get over to the right hand side of the device and you have your standard X-Series power port. Uh, nice thing about that is in a pinch if you have a Lenovo X-Series tablet like I do, uh, you could charge your X 131e with it. Uh, again, it's not rated for it, uh, but in a pinch it'll, it'll give it some juice. Another USB port on this side, so if you're keeping count at home, that is three in total. You have an HDMI port here for uh, out, so both VGA and HDMI for presentations to screens, and then a card reader. Backside, really like that you have the capability to remove the battery here uh, on the Samsung Series 5. If we need to remove the battery for any reason, we actually have to take the whole thing apart, so that is a nice addition. The other nice part, you can see it here, is speaker. It goes all the way across. It's a nice addition. Really good sound coming out of the X131e. So let's go ahead and uh, flip it over, open it up, and let's take a look at the keyboard. Um, so it does have your traditional Chrome key keys going across the top. Uh, refresh, full screen, uh, tab to a new window, contrast. Uh, sound up down. Um, it does have home and insert and delete here as well which are nice additions. Love that it has a cap locks key right now on the Samsung Series 5 that is a uh, number of key shifts uh, to be able to get the caps lock going so that's a nice addition. Search key is down here now um, instead of where uh, the caps lock is. Uh, on the Samsung Series 5, it's up here in your typing range, so oftentimes you'll hit it. Um, another nice addition, you actually have the keyboard overlay down here. We'll do a demo of that. It's nice to be able to pull that up quickly. Again, on the Samsung Series 5, that is a, uh, a series of keystrokes that makes that happen. Over here, love that you have page up and page down. Makes working in Google Docs so much easier than the Samsung Series 5. So those are really nice additions. Cap locks. So just from a work standpoint, really nice. Um, you also have the track point and the trackpad. And on the trackpad, you have mount, uh, my, uh, left and right, uh, both at the top and built in here at the bottom. I have found, as it's typical on the, on the Lenovo X Series, the trackpad much quicker. Um, the track point a little bit slower, um, but um, both uh, being able to be used, which is very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and get logged into it. Once you're logged in, pretty much standard. Uh, we're not talking about anything different here because it is the Chrome OS, which makes that really nice. Though, as we mentioned, the keyboard overlay that's down here, easy to pull that up, um, being able to, to highlight the different keys. We'll escape out of that. Also, the shift key or the search key here. Again, really nice being able to pull that up and have it outside of your typing range, uh, which is kind of nice. Um, trackpad, you can see, are the track point. Um, easy to use. Trackpad moves a lot quicker. Um, so people will find having dual uh, 
mice on the, the keyboard itself. Very nice. Keyboard's very rugged, durable. You'll find that the LCD screen, the bezel around it, nice and sturdy, rubberized at the top for those accidental drops. Does have a webcam built in right here. Again, a nice feature uh, that comes in handy. So that's what it looks like. Um, been pleased with its durability so far. Um, I don't find that it's um, too much heavier than the Samsung Series 5. And what we're going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and power this off and we'll do some side-by-side -side testing of speed between the two devices. So let me just grab my Samsung Series 5 device. And we'll get that prepped and ready so that it can do the side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, so at this point, both devices are off. So let's go ahead and power them up. See that? Lenovo X131 hits Chrome and actually is at the login a lot quicker than what you'll find on the Samsung Series 5. Let's go ahead and do a test of actually logging in. Okay, here we go. You see the Lenovo X31e on the left in much faster, able to come up much quicker. Okay, let's go ahead and do a test of browser speed. So we're just going to hit the school's website and we'll uh, possibly hit um, Mashable site real quick. So we've got them both ready to go. You can see clearly the Lenovo X131e comes up a lot faster here. Um, once they're both in play, you can see, um, turn up the contrast a little bit here so it's equal. Uh, colors are a little bit more vibrant on the X131e. Um, definitely love the anti-glare. Uh, capabilities makes it easier to see outside and use there. Let's hop over to Mashable. We'll just pull up another site just to test the speed again. Okay. And we'll test it. You can see again X131e loads the site and the pictures faster. Now you're saying to yourself, hey, that's pretty quick on both devices, but I can tell you with students using them, the faster they can get around the web, the better. Uh, comes in, in handy there. Let's just do a quick uh, test of the search key. Again, pops up quicker on the Lenovo X31e. Not by much, but definitely quicker. All right, at this point, uh, we did some web tests. Let's do some video tests. And... We'll go ahead and pull up a video from the school's YouTube channel on both devices. We'll test getting there. I'm going to go ahead and mute both devices, and then we will uh, fire them up so that uh, we can listen to the difference in the speakers. All right, so we have both videos up, and this is the sound coming off of the Lenovo X31e. It's just like one society or one family, we know everybody, which is a great thing. We have so many opportunities, so many different clubs. And we'll go ahead and get that muted. I should take advantage of it. And it's a slight difference, but the X131e speaker is going all the way across the bottom. A uh, little bit louder here um, at the desk. Nice being able to have that that uh, capability to have a little bit louder speaker. So let's go ahead and uh, pause both of those. All right, now that they're paused, let's go ahead and uh, do the test of uh, pulling them back up. So I'm going to close both lids. Again, it's always important to know um, how fast it'll come up. And so, just kind of get it prepped here. Get a finger in each. 
And again, I didn't even get the screen up, uh, and the X31E is almost already back up again. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, close both of these. And we'll take a look at the size. You can see clearly the X131E is um, a thicker device. Uh, but when I pick them up in my hands, I don't feel too much difference between the two. It's negligible. Um, it's only about seven ounce difference between the two. Um, obviously, um, when you're talking about looking at a one-to-one -one environment where kids are taking it back and forth to school, the ThinkPad, the X131e Chromebook from Lenovo, I think is going to be your choice. At least it will be for us. If we're looking at carts where it just stays in and comes out of the cart, we very well might consider one of the Samsung models, uh, especially the newer ones uh, because of the price difference. But uh, in a rugged one-to-one -one environment, the Lenovo X131e ThinkPad Chromebook, I think it's going to be uh, uh, something that folks are going to want to consider. If you have any questions or comments, please post them.